Once upon a time, there was a wolf who went out into the woods to hunt for his family. When in the woods, he suddenly heard baby noises coming from a bush. And sure enough, there he was, a little baby, hidden in the bushes. The wolf was so surprised to see a little baby all alone, and decided to rescue the baby and keep him safe. And not a moment too soon, because a tiger named Shere Khan was searching for the lost baby for lunch. The mother wolf and her cubs loved this little baby very much. I think his name should be Mowgli, said Mother Wolf. And so, Mowgli started to live with his new wolf family in the woods. Mother Wolf took very good care of him, like he was one of her own. It did not take long for Mowgli to become friends with all the animals in the jungle. He got to know how the jungle works and played games with his animal friends. Shere Khan, the tiger, kept searching for Mowgli because he hated humans. The wise wolf, Akela, heard that Shere Khan was looking for Mowgli. So he called a special meeting with Baloo the bear and Bagheera the panther. It isn't safe for Mowgli to live in this part of the jungle. I suggest you two take him to the other side of the jungle and teach him how to survive and stay hidden from Shere Khan. The years flew by as the baby grew into a boy. Baloo the bear loved teaching Mowgli the ways of the jungle. He taught him how to look for nuts or to climb trees to look for honey. Mowgli learned a lot from Baloo, and each day he climbed higher and higher. Eventually, he was gathering enough food for the both of them. Baloo also taught him how to understand the sounds of the jungle and was proud of his student. <laughs> Mowgli could run very fast and swim very well. Bagheera was wise and taught him how to identify dangers. So Mowgli became clever and aware of man's traps or dangers from other animals. One day, a cub wolf ran and fell into one of these traps. Shere Khan the tiger heard the cub and came after him, ready for lunch. But Mowgli heard the cub too, and quickly saved the cub from the trap before Shere Khan could get him. Shere Khan recognized the boy that he had missed years ago and was angry. Baloo taught Mowgli the jungle code words in case he was ever in danger. Mowgli learned these words by heart, even though he thought he would never be in trouble. Mowgli was confident that he could avoid danger from any animal in the jungle. Meanwhile, the clever Shere Khan made a plan to catch Mowgli, but he knew he could not do it when he had a bear and panther protecting him. So he went to the bander logs. So what do you think? Brilliant! Let's capture the man cub and make him teach us everything he knows so we can rule the jungle! So they spied on Mowgli, who was stacking some wood to make a little shelter. They waited and waited, making sure that Baloo and Bagheera were not around. Just as the sun started to go down, the two strongest bander logs carried Mowgli tied up in the middle of the meanest of the bander logs. And he started to figure out how to escape. After a while, he saw a vulture flying up above the sky. He remembered the magic words Baloo taught him. We are family, you and I. I am Mowgli. Hearing these words, Chill the vulture immediately realized that Mowgli wasn't a stranger and that he was in trouble. Please help! Tell Blue and Bagheera that I am kidnapped! Of course I will, Mowgli! answered Chill the vulture, and he flew off to deliver the message to Mowgli's friends. The banderlogs brought Mowgli to their city, deep in the jungle. 
It was a giant temple that humans had built and abandoned a long time ago. Mowgli struggled to get free, but there were so many bander logs that he could never get very far before they grabbed him. When Baloo and Bagheera found out that Mowgli was kidnapped, they came to help. They asked Ka, the giant snake, for help to save Mowgli. And they all came to the monkey town. They sneaked up behind a giant statue. And then they saw Mowgli, surrounded by hundreds of bander logs. They started to wait for the perfect moment to take Mowgli out of there. At the right moment, Ka said, Now is the right time. Let's go. Bagheera silently crept towards the monkeys and then leapt into them, throwing them everywhere. He punched one with his powerful claws. Mowgli was so happy to see Bagheera. Banderlogs were shocked and ran around screaming with fear. Monkeys came from every direction and surrounded Bagheera. Two of them snatched Mowgli and forced him into a room in the ruins. Mowgli could hear Bagheera fighting with the monkeys outside. He couldn't escape, but he wanted to help. He remembered that monkeys were afraid of water and yelled through the wall. Bagheera, run and jump in the well. Bagheera ran and jumped straight into the water. Baloo came to help, but was quickly surrounded by monkeys. They jumped at him and attacked him with their claws, and Baloo threw them off of him and did his best to fight back. But there were too many bander logs to fight by himself. And Bagheera saw him, but was trapped in the water to get away from the bander logs. Just as Baloo was about to be overcome and defeated by the monkeys, Ka, the great snake, came to help. He smacked the monkeys with his giant tail, and the monkeys scattered in fear. They had always been afraid of Ka. They knew they couldn't win against the great snake, so they started to run away into the jungle. <laughs> Ka opened his mouth and blew out his poisonous venom gas that paralyzed all the monkeys, and they were frozen still. The loud monkey yells finally went quiet. Mowgli! Mowgli yelled through a hole in the wall. I'm here, trapped in the tower. Ka swung his mighty tail and managed to break the walls of the tower. Freed from his prison, Mowgli leapt out to his friends. Baloo gave him a huge bear hug. Mowgli. You guys saved me. I was so scared. You risked your lives. Thank you so much for coming after me. Mowgli was also very happy to see the great snake on his side. I love you guys. Thank you so much, Ka. Mowgli, Baloo, and Bagheera said goodbye to Ka and headed home. Shere Khan watched everything and realized that his plan had failed. He knew that as long as Mowgli and his friends stuck together, he could never win. Defeated, he decided it would be best if he left their jungle forever. Mowgli had many other adventures, and when he grew into a young man, he took a long trip to the human's village, and there was a woman who recognized him. She realized that it was her son, who had been taken by Shere Khan long ago. She showed Mowgli her youngest son, Mowgli was surprised because the little boy's face looked just like he did when he was little. He realized that this little boy was his brother and the lady was his mother. Baloo, Bagheera, and Ka were all watching from, from across the road. From now on, you'll be with your real family, Mowgli. Whenever you need us, you know the special jungle code words. You are our brother. Don't forget how much we love you, dear Mowgli. Mowgli loved his jungle family. Goodbye, dear Mowgli. He lived happily ever after with his human family. But never did he forget his good friends 
in the jungle. <laughs>